Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, just going to do a quick update here on Chainlink. Take over this is Link, and I'm currently on the weekly time frame. Now, I've covered this coin several times, obviously, so I don't want to get into what all these lines are. I'll just give you a quick rundown. These downsloping levels of resistance are not really relevant anymore. Actually, this one probably still is as a potential support on a pullback. However, the price does look pretty strong right now, so no reason to think that's going to happen, that we're going to get all the way back down to retest this broken resistance level. Down here, we had a uh, channel where the price bounced in between for about 500 days before breaking out. This was the time to be accumulating. Uh, we held the key level, which was right around here at this zone at around $4.39 up to $4.82. Uh, this was key that we held. I definitely did not want to see the price break below here, but luckily it held. And yeah, all things look good on Chainlink, right? So uh, right here, we had a level of resistance um, at around $12.64. Um, Actually, let me change the time frame and see how the price reacted to that. Yeah, actually, we fought we fought with the downsloping level of resistance a bit. But yeah, we didn't get too much trouble at this $12.64 level. Um, recently, we had a pullback. And this just shows you how strong the market is right now. We went from about $16.50 all the way down to uh, $12.89. Normally what you look for is the level of resistance to flip to a support. And I'm sure there were a lot of people looking to buy exactly at this $12.64 level. Uh, it never happened though. So this is why it's important to kind of front run your price targets because we were about 15 cents shy of that target hitting. So everyone who was waiting to buy right here, they, they missed out. Now I'm gonna take this back out to the weekly time frame, And as you can see here, we have a key level, right? So um, if you wanna mark this on your chart, just take a horizontal ray or horizontal trend line and paste it right at the top of these candle bodies right here. And you'll notice I have this drawn as a range. So I just connected the top of these candle bodies and then the, the lows of these candle bodies right here. So that gives me the range. And just looking at this, it seems like this is the uh, logical next target, right? And this is between $18.19 up to uh, $18.70. So yeah, from where we are right now at under $16, that's a pretty decent gain. Now, once we make it up here, I do anticipate that people are going to either take profits or if they're not in a position, they'll likely enter a short, perhaps place a stop loss slightly above, and then try to profit off the uh, high probability of a pullback in this range. But yeah, things are looking really good on the LINK USDT chart. Um, let's take a look at the LINK Bitcoin chart. And here's where it gets pretty interesting. In my last video, I mentioned that we were at a resistance on the Bitcoin chart. So we did have a pullback and it looks like we're heading back up to try to get another crack at this resistance. Now, if this level of horizontal resistance breaks, that's when I anticipate Chainlink to start making a really strong moves against Bitcoin. So I'll zoom out a bit. And as you can see, in 2018, Chainlink was one of the only coins that uh, gained in USDT terms uh, as Bitcoin was crashing, right? So, so during that time on the Link BTC pair, Chainlink was in a, a pretty strong uptrend for about two years. Since then, we shifted to a downtrend, as you can see here from this downsloping level of resistance that we recently broke out of. This lasted another couple of years. But now once we crack this level of horizontal resistance, that's gonna mark a change in a trend and it's possible that we see something like this repeat where Chainlink starts to rise in value again against Bitcoin. So yeah, if you're trading Chainlink, definitely go to the Bitcoin chart and just mark this level and then watch for a weekly candle close above here. Okay, let's take that back to the, uh, the USDT chart. And yeah, this is the local level that I'm expecting uh, the price to work its way up to. Now, um, we're probably a little bit overextended on the smaller time frame here. Yeah, if I look at the one hour time frame, pretty extended. Yeah, if I wasn't in this trade, I would just look to buy a, a pullback. So for example, and I'm not saying this is the particular entry that I'm waiting for, but maybe a pullback to uh, retest this broken level of resistance right here. Again, just an example. But as you can see, this is this was a uh, pretty strong level of resistance that we broke out of. And we haven't retested it yet. So if we do get a sell off and a pullback right here at around $15.35, uh, that to me would be a good uh, time to enter this position. And then again, on the higher time frame, I would target that $18 range. And again, this is just short to midterm. I do think that after breaking this, um, you know, 500 day consolidation range and then zooming out, it does look like we are destined for higher price targets. However, yeah, this is just the uh, the midterm target right here at around the $18 range. All right, guys, uh, hopefully you found that helpful. If you did smash the like button, um, if you're not subscribed and you want to be able to find the channel again in the future, uh, make sure you click subscribe, click the bell and then click on all. If you don't do those last two parts, you're not going to get notified when I release uh, new content. 
And if you click away without without subscribing, you're probably going to have a hard time finding the channel again in the future just because it's relatively new. There's less than 2,000 subscribers still. And uh, yeah, because of that, I'm not really prioritized in the search algorithm. Also, if you want a place to trade Chainlink and pretty much any of the other coins I talk about on this channel, I put a link to three different exchanges in both the pinned comment and the description. And all three of those exchanges are offering you guys uh, sign up bonuses through those links. And also, you may need a VPN depending on where you're located. So I put a link to a promotion on a VPN as well, which is very useful for uh, getting past certain geo blocks, whether it's for trading or collecting airdrops or, or whatever. Anyway, guys, have a good day. Take care. Bye.